It's 10 trivia questions on hot sauce, Dune, Letter Kenny, and more for Eddie's birthday. Happy birthday, Eddie. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds thanks for checking out the show and thanks for celebrating a very special happy birthday with us and our friend eddie watson happy birthday eddie your beautiful wife maria said happy 29th birthday to my bestest friend out there eddie watson aka mr wolf i'm so excited for our next adventure that's coming up and so glad i get to do life with you love your wife turtle Ah, what a nice nickname that is. Turtle and Eddie, thank you guys for listening to the show, and happy, happy birthday, Eddie. We've got some great questions on quiz items that you will love today, including some Star Wars stuff and some Dune stuff and some stuff on The Witcher. Lots of nerdy stuff today. Eddie, you sound awesome. We're going to jump into those quiz questions in just a second, but before we do that, we've got our categories game. The letter is R, and we have ways to kill time, sports played indoors, and card games. All starting with the letter R, ways to kill time, sports played indoors, and card games. There you have it. We're all warmed up. We're ready to go, and we're celebrating Eddie Watson's 29th birthday right now. Here we go. It's trivia for Eddie and questions on stuff he loves. Here's question number one. The first bottled hot sauce was made available for sale in 1807 in what state? The first bottled hot sauce was made available for sale in 1807 in what state? Question number two, a lightsaber has five main parts, the power cell, the casing, the focusing lens, the emitter, and the what? What is that fifth part to a lightsaber? We've got the power cell, the casing, the focusing lens, the emitter, and the what? Question number three, after Prohibition ended in 1933, Yingling sent a truckload of beer to what president? Number three, after Prohibition ended in 1933, Yingling sent a truckload of beer to what president? Number four, the April 10th released episode of Dan Cummins' Time Suck podcast was about what mob? Number four, the April 10th released episode of Dan Cummins' Time Suck podcast was about what mob? Number five, what is the name of the days during the week when theaters are closed for live performances? Number five, what's the name of the days during the week when theaters are closed? Number six, what bird is believed to have been used on most Viking war banners? Number six, what bird is believed to have been used on most Viking war banners? Number seven, on season seven of Letterkenny, the gang hosts a public access educational show called what? Number seven, on season seven of Letterkenny, the gang hosts a public access educational show called what? Number eight, on The Witcher, what was the first beast Geralt encounters? Number eight, on The Witcher, what was the first beast Geralt encounters? Number nine in Lord of the Rings, what is the name of the mountain where the Master Ring was made? Number nine in Lord of the Rings, what's the name of the mountain where the Master Ring was made? And number 10 to close it out in Dune, what does Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mahayim advise Paul is in the box she commands him to put his hand in? Number 10 in Dune, what does Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mahayim Advise Paul is in the box. She commands him to put his hand in. 
Those are all your questions for Eddie's 29th birthday quiz today. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to Eddie's birthday quiz, 29 years young, big 3-0 next year. Can't wait to do that custom quiz for you, Eddie, and happy, happy birthday. Here's number one. The first bottled hot sauce was made available for sale in 1807 in Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Number two, a lightsaber has five main parts, the power cell, the casing, the focusing lens, the emitter, and the power crystal, power crystal. Number three, after Prohibition ended in 1933, Yingling sent a truckload of beer to what U.S. president? That was FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Number four, the April 10th released episode of Dan Cummins' Time Suck podcast was about the Irish mob, Irish mob. Number five, what was the name of the days during the week when theaters are closed? Dark days, dark days. Number six, what bird is believed to have been used on many Viking war banners? Ravens, ravens. Number seven on season seven of Letter Kenny, the gang hosts a public access educational show called Crack and Ag. Crack and Ag, like agriculture. Number eight on The Witcher, what was the first beast Geralt encounters? The Kikimura. Kikimura. Number nine in Lord of the Rings, what's the name of the mountain where the Master Ring was made? Mount Doom. Mount Doom. And number 10 in Dune, what does Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mahayim advise Paul is in the box she commands him to put his hand in? Pain. Pain. Those were some nerdy questions. Hope you had a great time on your birthday, my bro. Happy, happy birthday, Eddie. And uh, to close out today's podcast, we have a fact of the day. That fact of the day, fact of the day is the Truman Show delusion is a mental condition marked by a patient's belief that they are the star of an imaginary reality show. I don't think I have that condition, but I do think that all the time. And the main reason I think it is I meet people who I believe are the same extras. So I'm like, I, or I see someone, usually I see someone out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, I saw that person five years ago dressed as a different costume. <laughs> you know, uh, I see that all the time and I'm like, what if it's all fake? Uh, and then also sometimes I meet people who I'm like, oh man, you are like the same person I met slightly different. Maybe not so much Truman Show, but more that uh, we're living in the Matrix kind of a thing. (laughs) Everything's a simulation. But uh, they're both equally terrifying and uh, also fun, I guess, at the same time. But there you go. Uh, Your letter was R for today, Ways to Kill Time. How about uh, rain watching? Is that a thing? Is that a word, a phrase? My wife likes to do it. When it's raining, she likes to sit like in the garage and watch the rain. And she is uh, dead set on us building a screened-in porch on the back of our house so she can sit in the porch and listen to and watch the rain. So I'm going to say rain watching. Uh, Sports played indoors. How about uh, roller hockey? Do people play that indoors? Somewhere. I bet there's someone playing roller hockey on roller skates or roller blades. And number three, card games. How about uh, rummy? Rummy. There you go. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for getting custom episodes like Maria did for Eddie today. Just email ryanbuds at gmail.com anytime with your requests, and I'll give you all the instructions. And uh, thanks for uh, being a listener. We'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.